Hello friends, today I am recording a video to help you all understand project life cycles. An important concept for you for the PMP examination and also in a day to day project management when you are going to sign a SOW. The project life cycle is, decide, is divided into three parts. One is the plan driven and the next one is the change driven and third one is called as the agile. Let's understand what is a plan driven life cycle. A plan driven life cycle is called as predictive life cycle. Now how is this predictive? Based on what does it become predictive? We will understand that. A change driven life cycle is also called as iterative or incremental. There are two categories in this. Now how is how does one particular project become iterative or a project life cycle becomes iterative or incremental? Let's try to understand that. Before we go into this, we need to understand an important concept. Over here, I have in front of me a customer. Now, the customer has some expectations. Based on the expectations and based on some very important concept in project management, the project life cycle is decided. Any guesses what is that? What is the project management concept you need to understand to decide a project life cycle along with the customer expectation? It is called as the constraints. Constraint will tell you what is clear and what is unclear. Which constraint am I talking about? I am talking about scope. If your scope is clear, then it becomes very predictive. See where we are going? It becomes predictive. And if your scope is unclear, it becomes unpredictive or uncertain. Uncertain. So then you do a different approach. With these two things in your mind, okay, you decide and you make the SOP. And in the SAW, you will also call out the milestones for the project. Milestones become the constraints on time. Right? Now, when you are doing a project, the another important constraint going to take care is the cost. How much money is somebody willing to pay for this project with you? Let's get started and try to understand this. Now, in a predictive life cycle, what are the three constraints which are very clear? This is time also known as schedule time cost okay it's time cost oh my god i'm bad at writing this okay it's time cost and scope so your scope your scope drives this entire are the other two constraints time and cost so if your scope is clear you go for predictive plan driven maybe do a project in a waterfall model sequential you can do it now there's another thing that you need to understand that based on the delivery the change driven life cycle has got two things one is iterative one is incremental many times people get confused on what is iterative what is incremental so in an iterative life cycle, say you have got one, two, three phases. The final product is obtained at the end of all the three phases. Okay. The usable product is obtained in the end. Many times you will have sprint one, sprint two, sprint three, sprint four, and the final sprint four has got all the code. And then you move that into or you merge them together and move it into the production. And another one is incremental. So each increment, each increment has the usable product. You see, the base yellow color is there in everything. The next increment, this is the first increment, second increment, third increment. So the increment is this blue color over here. Over here, this is the green color in the phase three. So each increment has a usable product. So that becomes an incremental life cycle. Now, in this situation, what happens is, initially, you have got high level of scope, high level of scope, 
and initial estimates of time and cost initial estimates of time and cost when this is there you can go for iterative or incremental again this is also driven by your sow the market need so if the market need says no we need a product going out every two weeks then you go for incremental or if it's on let's build a product in let's say next three months and do an entire website revamp then you can go for iterative this another very important concept the agile product cycle and the project life cycle so in agile please remember what is fixed so the fixed is your time and cost people want something in this time and this cost but what is not fixed is the scope scope is uncertain uncertain a lot of uncertainty on the scope okay please remember that in your agile the scope is uncertain okay now what happens here is progressively the scope is elaborated scope becomes clearer as we move forward let's say 30 days 60 days 90 days so progressively your scope is elaborated progressively scope is elaborated okay scope is elaborated elaborated this is also known as a concept called progressive elaboration okay in progressive elaboration the scope is progressively elaborated get more clear on the scope as and when we go ahead but then there's another concept called as rolling wave planning this is called as use more in the incremental side wherein at the end of this phase at the end of this phase at the end of phase 1 you plan for phase 2 this is called rolling wave planning okay so friends these this is a small video on understanding the concepts for your project life cycle a very important factor is your constraint a scope plays a vital role in predictive life cycle time cost and scope is fixed and very clear in incremental what happens is you get initial high level scope and then estimates of time and cost is uh, you have got initial estimates of time and cost in change driven you've got two types iterative and incremental usable products got at the end in iterative each increment gives you a usable product in incremental in agile the scope is uncertain but time and cost is fixed scope is progressively elaborated and that's called as progressive elaboration incremental life cycle can be called as rolling wave planning in which at the end of us uh phase you plan for the next phase please watch this video a couple of times do subscribe to my youtube channel hit the bell icon if you have any comments drop me a note i would like to answer them back thank you for watching my video this is arham faraz from bangalore bye bye all the best for your pmp examination